I've been doing this morning is I've been checking up on what's actually going on in Iran now, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, and what's going on is this. There's a, a short film here of people burning posters. And young women and young men cutting their hair off in protest at what's going on there. And what's going on there is that there are huge protests, as we know, and I responded to this a few days ago. When I responded, I was in San Francisco, and I sent a little video complaining to the Ayatollahs about the murder of this lady. Last night, we did a gig in San Francisco, and right in front of me, when I was singing on one side of the stage, was a young woman, and she was holding this up. Well, we all know who this young woman is. This is the young woman who was beaten to death by the religious police in Tehran about 10 days ago now. Masa Amini. So she has become a symbol. Her death is the reason that there are um, demonstrations going on in Tehran right now, which I support and which everybody should be supporting. They have a weird political system in Iran and I don't want to knock the whole country because you can't tar them all with the same brush but the idea of one religious leader deciding absolutely everything is pretty old-fashioned uh, these days. I'm glad the young woman brought this to my show last night. There was a group of five or six young Iranian people uh, in the front row. So there you are, girl. Yes. We do support you and we do support all those young people who are protesting uh, in Tehran. They need to listen to the voices of these people. You cannot tell people how to dress anymore. This is now the 21st century. We are not living in the 11th or 12th century. People have to be allowed their voice and allowed their freedom. And so, Masa Amini, we will never forget you. We haven't forgotten Neda Aga Sultan. And we will never forget Martha either. That's all I have to say this sad Sunday morning.